A very warm welcome to the art vlog with me, George Dopamine. Welcome art lovers and don't forget to subscribe um, to the art vlog and hit that notification bell for reviews and previews of art exhibitions in, in London, the South East and around the UK. As you can hopefully see behind me today, we're in the wonderful showpiece Scottish capital city, Edinburgh. Today, I'm actually leaving the city centre in Edinburgh and heading to a very special place in the West Lothian countryside, which I've been dying to go to for a very long time, Jupiter Artland. The show that I'm going to be reviewing today is by our wonderful stellar British artist, Tracy Ammon. Um, it, you have to get the X27 bus from Princes Street, where I am now. Let me just spin you round. And it's about a 35 minute journey I'm led to believe to this wonderful outdoor sculpture space. So do come and join me as I review the new Tracy Emmons show at Jupiter Artland, just outside Edinburgh. Over there is the Stebbins Gallery, which I think is where um, the main body of Trace and Emmons work is going to be. Up there is the Tin Roof Gallery, um, where we've already heard some rather intriguing screams coming out, and I think there's a video work up there. And behind me is an absolutely gorgeous cafe where I've just already had a very nice cup mm. of tea, very friendly staff, and the toilet's right over there. to say I'm absolutely loving um, Jupiter Artland so far. There's some more Tracy Emin exhibited in the ballroom. Look at that beautiful building behind me. And then there's a sculptural piece exhibited in the dovecote over there. Um, so come and join us as we head into these bits of the show.
really enjoying my time here at Jupiter Artland. We're obviously here to see the Tracy Emin show and we're about to walk down to see her set piece sculpture. But um, obviously on the way, we're gonna take in some artwork. So I'll have a look, I'll show you those as well. I have to say that um, this, this work, The Cells of Life, encapsulates the Jupiter Artland. It's an exhilarating piece of landscape art by Robert Jenks. Um, it's fantastic. And if you're in Edinburgh and you want to have a day being feasted by art in wonderful natural surroundings, if you want to get out of the city at all, this place is a place to come. So here is um, Tracy Emin's permanent piece of work, I Lay Here For You, which is going to be nestled in this little woodland glade at Jupiter Artland permanently. And it speaks obviously very clearly to the works at the house in the exhibition also called I Lay Here For You. Um, the, the, as you can see, this is female form, which we can maybe take to be the artist, is, 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 is raised in ecstasy with her face buried into the ground. Um, it's a very moving piece of work. Well, so I've just come out of the wonderful Tracy Emin show at the Jupiter Artland, just passing through these gates, which you're going to see behind me in a minute, which are part of the, um, they're a work of art in themselves, as you can hopefully see. So I'm on the bus leaving now the Tracy Emin show and leaving the rather wonderful Jupiter Artland. Um, excuse the bumpiness, this bus is a bit bumpy as we go through rural Lothian back into the city of Edinburgh. I thoroughly enjoyed the Tracy Emin show, which is what I'm here to review. Um, it was a, you know, we have to remember that she represents a golden era, in my opinion, of contemporary British art, along with people like Damien Hirst, Cornelia Parker, um, Chris and Philly and so many more. And the fact is that these works are nearly all produced from 2021 or 2022, after her horrendous ordeal with bladder cancer, which saw her lose her bladder. Thank goodness she is now in remission and producing these works which sing. And you know, we have to remember she's a great and she's producing contemporary work. And that's one of the reasons why I would urge you to come out here. We're seeing her latest work. This is not a retrospective in any way. This is, this is her as an artist creating now. And there is an absolute sense of euphoria to the fact that she's in remission from cancer, that you can almost feel her rediscovering her body, which obviously becomes medicalized when you're being treated for cancer and going through what she's been through. Um, she's an intensely semi-autobiographical, sorry, intensely autobiographical artist, and she always has been. And this work is no different, even though we never really see her face. The faces are often scrubbed out, or in the case of the sculpture, buried into the ground. We know that these works are about her and that's what makes them so powerful i got really moved in that main gallery seeing words like you just keep wanting me or because i'm so fucking sexy i was born sexy and i would die sexy these are crazy and then saying to herself and to us i've gone through thank goodness for now um, and, and celebrating that um, there's also obviously twists of darkness and hints at the terrible difficulty in the motif of the bed where she spent quite a long time over over this this period and also in, in the title somewhere it's like don't touch me not even in your dreams there's another figure in a lot of these paintings which suggests that Evan has found new love and I love 
the expressionistic painterly brush strokes. Um, you can see Monk's influence in these, and 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 this is this is very much part of her more recent style. Going back to that wonderful White Cube show um, a few years ago, and the motif of the bed is very much in the um, in the uh, art artworks as well. And that's obviously going back to my bed, probably her most famous work in the public consciousness. Um, it was great to see the, the works in the, I think it's the Steddings Gallery, contrasting with the works in the ballroom. The permanent sculpture itself is visceral, it's womanly, it's fantastically, um, it's fantastically enjoyable, it's curvaceous. This woman burying her head into the ground, which is obviously probably some sheets in ecstasy with her backside raised. It's, 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 it's very emotional work as well. And that work will stay for art lovers to see for a very long time to come. So overall, I really enjoyed this. This is a chance, guys, to come and see one of our greatest works, greatest artists, as I say, producing now. And um, some of this work will be seen in galleries for a very long, very, very long time to come, even after Emma's lifetime. So I give this show an eight out of 10. I was exhilarated by it. And I would give the Jupiter Artland overall a fantastic um, rating as well, a nine out of 10. The only thing I would say about it is give yourself a full day. I gave myself half a day to explore this. It wasn't long enough, um, unfortunately, to see everything, every single sculpture, but I will 100% be back. The Tracy Emin show is on until at the 2nd of October. So we've got all summer. If you live in Edinburgh or you're coming up for the festival, then it's really worthwhile coming to. Um, it's £10 to get in and that gives you access to the Jupiter Artland and I have to say, as well as the Tracy Emin show, what a fantastic good value that is. I mean, this is, this is kind of like out in the fresh air, sculptures dotted in beautiful woodland in the open air as well. Don't forget to subscribe to the art blog and um, hit that notification bell for upcoming reviews of shows around London, the South East and as we are up in Edinburgh today, beyond across the UK. Maybe one day I'll even be able to break out of the UK as well and do an art vlog from somewhere else. But do take care, art lovers. Get out there and continue to explore the wonderful British art scene, which is so um, being so exemplified today at the Jupiter Artland.